here. Ba, uh, it's hot. Cầm đau căn đại căn lang hay. It's hot in here. Ba, cầm đau căn đại căn lang nơi tin ní. It's hot in here. Ba, sầm bập đường chật yếu của căn đại căn lang cầm đau đấy. Are you hot in here? Bong phôn mẹ làm thắc cái đau ớt nó không đường chật bong phôn. So good, you know, um, preparing and knowing the weather. Hay bất chia là ở bên tên đại dương cầm phôn để riết chó mãi. Đôi khi nhận đang thả cá sát thiệt giang mạnh. The words of Jesus make sense. Hay dương chấp đam đang thả bảy bản tu rồi bỏ bảy Yêu Sư Kỳ dương ai dồi bàn. When he says, "You may have trouble in this world," it may be hot in this world. But be brave. I say to you also, be brave tonight. I only have a short message tonight. But it is the one thing that changed my life forever. That's why I follow Jesus. I follow Jesus because I need Jesus. Jesus did something for me. That I cannot do for myself. And what Jesus did, he forgave me my sins. If we confess our sins, Jesus will forgive us. There is no one and nothing in this world that will forgive your sins. That's the best news you have ever heard in your life. And this changes my life every day. Because I need it. We need it. Even if we try to forgive ourselves, it will not we will not be clean. He will cleanse us from all our Wrong. To make it really simple. Jesus saves us. This is why we have the symbol of the cross. Because Jesus died so we can have life. And he paid with his blood so that we can have the forgiveness we need. But next to Jesus, there were two others also crucified. And at the same time as Jesus was crucified, there were two other thieves also crucified. I want to take you into this moment. Three grown men punished to death, nailed to a cross, People just like this watching. They're breathing slowly dying. Blood everywhere. Now what's fascinating about this situation? There was a conversation between these three men. The thief here, dying because he was guilty of a crime. What he did was so bad that he had to die on a cross in front of everybody. 
And he looks over to Jesus. Hey, I thought you are the Christ. Hey, Save yourself and save me. The in this conversation, this thief here did not believe that he is the Son of God. He was mocking Jesus. I see the sign above your head. I see the people. They believe in you. But you cannot even save yourself. You are not the Messiah. You cannot help me. You cannot even help yourself. The thief here was hopeless. He was going to die in a few minutes. Because of what he did. He was hanging on the cross because he was a thief. Did you know that we are all sinners? We are all sinners and we have fallen short of God's glorious standard. We are all, all of us have a destination to die for our sins. This thief over here, no faith, no hope. He knows Jesus is there. He sees the followers. But he says, I don't need. I don't want. I don't accept. I don't care. Then there is the other thief on this side. He hears that one talking. And he says, Stop talking. Why are you talking to Jesus like that? We are here just because we did wrong. We are supposed to die. But Jesus, he is the only one who did nothing wrong. And I believe he is the son of God. And then he looks over to Jesus and says, Remember me when you go into paradise. Remember me. Jesus, remember me. Remember me. Me. The mistakes I made. Jesus, remember me. Forgive me. I need forgiveness. I know I deserve to die. But, but Jesus, forgive me, I believe. Jesus answers. Only to him. To him he did not speak. He spoke to this thief. To Tonight you will be with me in paradise. This is the gospel. We deserve to die. But Jesus saves. If we ask, all our friends, 
mất phe bao dương tiếng ọc. They are just like us. Bố cọt đôi chi bao dương chẳng. Thieves that deserve to die. Nè tô đại sạ xong không cả sạp. And Jesus also wants to save them. Bọn đại bà sư kỳ đôi kỳ trông trông xong cụ bố cọt. To be saved. Đã mấy tụ tù bán cá xong cụ is to give our hearts to Jesus and be transformed. And when I ask uh, Vic to come on stage to share his testimony to all of you. Give him a hand. So I remember that when I believe in God in the first time and I make a promise that I will serve Him and follow Him. And later on, I feel I felt so proud about myself when I was just like. I can control myself. I don't want others to control my life. And when I believe in Jesus and I try to, to do the God's work, then, then He will do in my life. And I, I, I try to live as I don't need God to control my life. And then I lost everything. And my life was like in the place like I can say below zero. I try to live my life day by day. And come to the point one day that I cannot really stand what I have done. I ask God and then God, why these things happen to my life? And God really spoke to me that He said, I never forget about my promise to you, but only you forget your promise to me. And back on that time, I, I lost my confidence to come back to God. I felt like I made something so wrong, a lot of mistakes, I cannot really come back to God, and God maybe not accept me. I tried to, to just go on living in my shamefulness. I don't want to come back to God. And come, come to the point that I suddenly look to the back. I saw a picture of God open his hand to welcome me when I come back to him. No matter how big my mistake was, but God really welcomed me to come back every time. And I just run back and then come back to God and hug Him again. And from that time, I, I make another promise to no one with Him that, Lord, tonight I will promise you that to serve you, follow you forever. Lord, please have your way according to your will in my life. And, you know, I start to serve God from that time until today I am. What I have seen when I give back my life to God that He control my life. When I repent my sin, God changed me 180 degrees. When I just keep walking and seeking His presence, I 
the world look empty to me but everything that i have i feel like god gave it to me so tonight i just want to encourage brothers and sisters here don't be afraid to come back to God and don't be afraid to repent what you have done to God. And, and remember that when you turn back to Him, He's always welcome to receive us. He's always welcome and waiting to welcome us anytime, no matter how mistake that we have done. And nothing that I can feel satisfied than to just serve God right here and what I follow Him. No matter what, if I have God's presence and then I serve Him, this is a joyful in my life. Thank you so much. I only have one question for all of us. Which thief are you? Which thief do I want to be? And I have decided to be this one. To be the one that says, Jesus, forgive me. I need you. I want you. I need to be saved. I accept your forgiveness. Let's all stand together. Close your eyes. Imagine that Jesus on that cross. Which thief do I want to be? Jesus says, I'm here to save. All you need to do is believe. I'm here dying for you. All you need to do is believe. My blood will forgive your sins. All you need to do is believe. And I believe. I believe. I believe tonight that Jesus, you save me. That my home is in heaven. That I will be with you in paradise. Yes, I deserve to die. But I accept your forgiveness. And God, you know my heart. You know my heart.